Today I'm at Thorpe Park for the opening of Hyperia, the tallest and fastest roller coaster in the UK. I'll be getting two rides on this 236 foot tall Mac Rides Hyper Coaster, checking out the new Fearless Valley area that Hyperia is located in and enjoying some walk-on rides on some of Thorpe Park's other attractions. So does Hyperia live up to the hype? Let's find out. So I've been held in this holding queue for about an hour now. They're not actually opening the gates until around 9.40. So according to staff at the front, this is an estimated five hours, but I don't know, it seems to be moving. the entrance for Hyperia. It's quite impressive, isn't it? So let's talk Hyperion and break down the elements. So first of all, the Outer Bank Commuter out Station, it's, you know, it's almost like a bonus element, isn't it, really? It's, uh, it's a turnaround before you get to the lift hill, so I thought they might as well do something interesting with it. Then you have the drop, and the drop, I think, might be the highlight of the ride. I was in row eight, so near the back. That absolutely just pulls you right over. It feels like the first half of the train is twisting already as the back half kind of goes over. So it's a really aggressive drop. The non-inverting inwardman I thought was fine. I think it's probably the weaker of the elements on this attraction. Then you have that crazy outer bank roll, which is, that's so cool. It takes it quite slowly, so you really do get taken out of your seat for a full three seconds plus. Following that, you have the huge hang time dive loop, which is just a crazy stall. Uh, again, just you're just out of your seat for the whole thing. The trims do bite quite strong on the splashdown. Uh, and I don't think you really get to experience the splashdown much when you're on ride. It feels like it's more of a visual thing for people who are off ride. Unfortunately, you can't really see it that well off ride either. So hopefully that's something they can work on. You then have the um, sort of the twisting air hill. Uh, that's really good. I really like that towards the end, followed by the final airtime hill as you hit the brakes. The brakes do bite just as you come over that hill. So at the back, you don't get much air time. It's kind of that kind of stealth kinder car kind of thing where you almost get a bit of air and then don't. So overall, really, really good. I think comfortably the best roller coaster here in the UK. Not sure if it would crack my top 10. I think I need a few more rides to really establish that. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Lovely evening here at Thorpe Park. It's about five to seven. Hyperia is now on a 160 minute queue, which is what, about two and a half hours? So my aim is to get in that queue around half seven, maybe a bit later, so I get the night ride. There's a load of rides on five minute waits though. So Stealth, Walking Dead, Rush, may knock all of those off first before we head back to Hyperia and hopefully get that ride in the dark. Well, Stealth is on a station wait, so I think at least one, maybe two, maybe even three. Well, who knows? It's a banger. Once again, take your seat. Hey, Stealth, why don't you get some lap bars like Hyperia? No. Prick. Always a fun time on Stealth. That launch really is something else. Wish it was longer. Wish it had lap bars. Otherwise, banger.
Also worth mentioning that I did get a cheeky ride on Nemesis Inferno earlier. And I've got to be honest, I do enjoy Inferno and given the rattly nature of Reborn, I don't think it's inferior anymore. So I'm back in the Hyperia queue. It is about 20 to eight, so I'm hopeful. Do some high five action with the queue line crew. And hopefully, I'll get the dark ride or the night ride. Hopefully I should get on around 10 o'clock. So fingers crossed it's gonna be pitch black, all nicely lit up. There's a lovely atmosphere down here. Everyone's in the mood. So yeah, this should be fun. That was really, really good. Out of the seat, so much of the way through the ride. I think because at the front you hang over the drop more, the um, outer bank's crazy. You just, you're just out of your seat the whole way around. That dive loop, stall, madness. And at the front, I think, is where you really get the hang time. But also, you've got the air time on that final hill as well. At the back, the trim's kind of hit, sort of clip the front of the train and slows you down. Whereas you get over the full hill at the back, at the, at the front. Sorry, I can't even talk properly. That was that was really, really good. Um, it's, I thought it was great earlier, but it has actually gone up in my estimation slightly. And uh, yeah, this is a quality coaster. They've got a real goodie here at Phil Park. Obviously, in conjunction with Mac Ride, this is a Mac product. So yeah, um, this is this is exactly what the UK has needed for so long. It feels like we've finally caught up. With the, what's going on around the rest of the world and stuff, you know, it's like we've been waiting for a truly sort of world class modern coaster with modern elements for so long, and finally got it. Well, Burger King looks kind of haunted at night with the uh, shutters down, but the screen's still flickering away like ghost burgers. Just having a bit of a wander around the park in the dark, desolated because everyone's down by Hyperion, and it's just such a different vibe. Like, I love. I love theme parks in the dark, they just have a completely different atmosphere even when it's really quiet like it is around here so yeah it's nice just to have a little wonder. Weirdly they're still playing all the uh, Amity Speedway audio just rabbiting away to itself. It's been an awesome day here, it really has. Hyperia is fantastic. I think the organization throughout these has been mostly good. I'm booked to come back tomorrow. It just looks like it's gonna be really busy. 